Hi guys, it's Emma from the 3A Girls and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a maze on Scratch. If you haven't already seen my past Scratch videos, make sure to check them out, especially if you're very new to Scratch and you don't even have an account. I actually have a video about signing up to Scratch for free. Don't forget to check that out and hit the subscribe button while you're there. Okay. So the first thing is to search up Scratch, or you could do, go down in the description box below, and you could press the link, and it'll bring you to this page. You need to sign in, and then you need to press this create button to open a new tab. Okay. So it will load a little bit once you've pressed create and we're going to start. So first thing like always we do is delete the sprite one and we're going to go up to the up where your tabs are and you're going to open another tab. You're going to search up maze, whoops, so in caps lock, maze. So after you search up maze, you go to images. Loading. You can choose one here. I'm going to choose the simple ones. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one. We're gonna take a screenshot of it. There, I took a screenshot and I'm going to save it in my file. It doesn't show my file for safety purposes. There, saved. So now let's go back to our scratch. We can close this tab and we can go over to the corner where we usually add a sprite in the background. Instead of clicking on the background, we're going to hover it over. It's The green tab says to choose a backdrop. You're going to move up to the magnifying glass, the paintbrush, the star, and then the arrow thing coming out of the top, it, which the green tab, tab says upload backdrop. Okay. So once you upload your maze, it should automatically bring you to the backdrops tab. It Usually the tab is costumes, but since we're having a look at the backdrop, it'll change to backdrops. Now, this maze looks pretty good to me. You might want to add some shapes onto it. You might want to paint it. just might want to color it in different colors but I don't want to do any of that so let's go back to the code tab now once we're back in the code tab we're gonna choose a sprite now this sprite is gonna go through the maze I'm gonna choose the ball now I'm gonna take the ball and put it at the start of the maze I really don't like the color yellow for the ball. So I'm going to change it to my favorite color, pink. How to do that, you say? Well, up where it says the code tab, under where your tab should be if you're on Google, you go down to scratch, then there should be code. Next to code, there is a costume tab. If you press on that, it should come up with different options. If there's not different options, here it should have a fill option you can change the color of that fill and fill it anyway i'm gonna change my ball to pink gonna go back to the code tab and we're gonna choose another sprite i'm gonna spell out the word start 
I'm going to bring in an arrow just to point to the start. Put it on the page. Add in another sprite. We're going to go to the letters button and we're going to choose some letters. I like these. A sprite. S T Sat We need an R And we need another T Okay now that we have these letters, we're going to arrange them. I'm going to bring the S to here. The A, S, A, the T in the middle. S, T, A, star. The R and the T. Whoop, here we are. I'm going to move this ball a little. And let's position these letters so they If they don't fit for you, you can come down, make sure it's pressed on one of the letters, and here there should be a size. You can change the size. Now, I'm going to have this point arrow flipped. So down there's a direction, and I'm going to change the direction a little like that see if that works change the direction a little more there now that's the decoration done so you're gonna make sure that that thing that's going through the maze is clicked and you're going to drag in a when green flag clicked and a when space key pressed you're gonna position them next to each other and you're going to left click on the when space key pressed and you're gonna do duplicate you're gonna do that two more times so there are four of them Okay. okay so we have four of these and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to motion which is this blue over here we're gonna drag in move ten steps for each one of the when space key pressed or you could just duplicate them okay we're going to drag in point and direction 90. Point in direction 90. Point in direction 90. Point in direction 90. Remember guys, if you ever run out of space, hold on to the white blank space and then you can drag it across. You can also use these bars. Okay, well now that that's done, the when green flag clicked, we're going to drag it a little bit further away. We're not going to bother about it right now. And we're going to change these when space key pressed to up arrow, down arrow, left arrow and right arrow. You can also change them to the letters or the numbers or the space key. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the up arrow and instead of point in direction 90, we're going to change it to zero degrees. And now instead of in the down arrow, instead of point in direction 90, we're going to do point in direction 180. And for the left arrow, we're going to do point in direction minus 90. If the arrow keys don't seem to be going in the right direction, like up is down, maybe have a look at what direction it's going in. If the 
the up arrow needs to be in zero. So if you click on it, there should be an arrow, a bit like a clock. You can change it by clicking on the arrow and dragging the arrow around. Anyway, now let's get on to the next part. The next part is to, when the green flag clicked, we're going to, first of all, position the ball where you want it to start. I want it to start hmm, here. So, we're gonna have a look at the this over here, the X axes and the Y axes. And we are going to go to motions again. We're gonna drag in, go to X, something, something, go to Y, something, something. It should already have those coordinates on it. So, we're gonna press the green flag. And when we press that green flag, it'll always end up here. So when you start, it'll have like that. So, let's do another thing. Okay, guys, if you want your ball to, whenever it touches the black line, to end the game, or we'll say you lose, these are the steps. We're gonna go to events. We're gonna drag in a when green flag clicked. Then we're gonna go to control and we're gonna drag in a forever and the one underneath the forever, which is if, pentagon thingy, and then. We're gonna put that inside the forever and we're gonna connect the when green flag clicked and the forever together. Then we're going to go to looks and we're going to drag in a say hello, which is not say hello for two seconds. We're going to change that say hello to whatever you want to say. Lose. You lose. There. I changed it. Now we're going to go to sensing and we're going to drag in a touching color. And we're going to put that inside. Now we're going to touch we're going to change the color by clicking on that color and we're going to come down and we're going to change this color so if you can't seem to get the right color you press on that and it lights up the pro project so far then it comes up with this magnifying thing that has a square in the middle you're going to put that square on the color you want to have that and then you're going to click there. So let's try. Green flag clicked. You lose. So yes, it works. If it doesn't work, have a look. Maybe your color is wrong or you've got the wrong code. Okay guys, we need to have a goal, don't we? So let's drag in a sprite. Maybe the sprite is a person. My sprite is going to be, hmm, button three. I'm going to change the color. In costumes. Once we go to costumes, I'm going to change it to lilac. So once you've got your color, you can add it into a gradient. Okay guys, so if you choose this button and you wanna get rid of this outline, all you need to do is click on it and drag it away. You can delete it. So this button is a little big. If we go back to the code tab, and over here there should be a size we're going to change the size how about 50. that's perfect actually might as well change it to 60 so it fits in between this space okay that's good now when we touch it it's actually touching the color black so Go back to the button, change it to 
55. Okay, so doing coding, we're going to do touch. We're going to bring in the from sensing touching mouse pointer question mark. Then we're going to drag in from events when green flag clicked from control forever and an if then. We're going to do the exact same steps as before while putting them together. And then we're going to change this touching mouse pointer to touching ball. There. So on button three with this thing, we're going to drag it in the say hello. And we're going to change that say hello to your you win or anything you want to change it to so let's just test that out it says you lose and it says you win yes i've made some alterations and now we're going to play the maze I win, yes. So that's how you play. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. Bye.